Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado? Bien, bien gracias. Ok, muy okay. bueno. bueno. ¿Y qué tal las vacaciones que se tomaron? Yo no tuve. Ok, algunos sí tuvimos, otros no tuvieron. Ok, vaya. Vamos a dar inicio. Espero que todos tengan las imágenes que les compartí y también la lista de preguntas. Recuerden siempre las instrucciones, eh, mantener su micrófono eh, apagado y eh, enciéndanlo únicamente si van a participar. También con la cámara, por favor, enciéndanla todos porque es uno de los reglamentos de la institución inglés corporativo. Ok. Bueno, solo me aseguro que todo esté bien, si se está grabando. Ok, perfecto. Vale. En, en lo que se agregan los demás, vamos a dar inicio. Sean bienvenidos a esta clase de esta semana. Recuerden que hoy vamos hasta el día viernes. En esta semana nos toca reponer el día de ayer, que algunos descansaron, otros no. Okay, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start uh, sharing my computer screen and you will always, I mean, you will also read the lesson for uh, today's uh, class or the objectives for today's class. Once you can see my computer screen, just let me know. Can you see it or not yet? Yes, yes, I can see. Yes, teacher. Okay. Awesome. Great. Uh, before moving forward, I just want to let you know about something. On the previous class, we were able to finish some uh, exercises on Unit 3. However, I was checking that there are some other exercises that you need to complete, okay? And that is going to be part of your tasks. We're going to try to complete it together. However, this is your responsibility to complete it in your house. Okay. Um, there you have one specific uh, listening, okay? Exercise that you need to complete. All right. You also have another exercise in order to fill in blanks using uh, WH words plus where to be. After that, you have another exercise. I, I was checking that there are a lot of exercises actually. You need to just select those exercises. Okay. Uh, those are related to the topics that we have studied before. Okay. We're going to try to complete them one by one. Hopefully we will be able to complete them together during this week. Otherwise, you need to complete them in your house. Okay. Questions so far or no questions at all? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Now I need a volu I need a volunteer to read the objective for that unit four or session four. Who wants to read it? I can. Okay, thank you. Okay, lesson objective. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Okay, so likes and dislikes. That's going to be basically the uh, main topic for today's lesson. But I want to also 
uh, play a conversation. I sent you the picture to the WhatsApp group, so you will be able to see it. Once you can see it, let me know, please. I'm going to play it and let me know if you can listen to us. Well. I think it's loading. In this lesson, participants can you listen to conversation expressing likes and this okay. Yes. okay. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us. Okay. I don't know why the, uh, I mean, the reading is not clear enough. However, I was able to share with you uh, this conversation to the WhatsApp group. Okay. And let's see. I need uh, some volunteers to practice the same conversation I sent you to the WhatsApp group. And we are going to continue with, um, the platform online. So I want to see, oh, thank you, David, for uh, turning your cameras on. Jenny Elizabeth and Edwin Giovanni, if you are able to turn your cameras on, that will be perfect. I need two volunteers to practice the conversation I sent you. That's the same conversation you will be able, you will be able to see on WhatsApp. Okay, I have Silvia and Luis. Silvia is going to be A, Silvia B, uh, Luis B, sorry. Okay. Luis, you. Uh, I am. I am Tom. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. okay. <clears throat> do you like? Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like. I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do. I am big fan of Eminem. I think that. Sorry. I think I know him. Does he play the, pla the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. I guess I don't know much about, about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Lindion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. Two more volunteers. Geraldine, and I need another one. Edwin Maria Santos, please turn your cameras on. Okay, besides Geraldine, is there any other volunteer to practice that same com the same conversation I sent to the uh, WhatsApp group? Okay, I'm going to select one of you. Uh, David, please practice that conversation with Geraldine. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, I am uh, Tom. Uh, Tom. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? What kinds of music do you like? 
Uh, so, so. And we love pop music. Okay. Who's, uh, who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. The last ones, Alejandro and one more volunteer. Any other volunteer? Okay, Alejandro and Brenda, thank you. Um, you started. Okay, Alejandro, go ahead. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like, I very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a, a big fan of Eminem. I think I know. Yeah. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? No, he doesn't. He's, he is a singer. Oh, sorry. I think that... Uh, see, see, see. Yeah, I do. I picked up on the minute. The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who is your favorite singer? Celine Dion, I love her voice. Do you like like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you guys for your participation. Okay, an applause for Alejandro and Brenda. Thank you. All right, now let me go ahead and share my computer screen and let's continue. Going to share it one more time. Yes, I can see it. Okay, you can see it. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, there you have a page one more time. And if you can see it, thank you for letting me know that. Let me go back on this page. I think it's loading. Just give me a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, I would like to know if you, if you already have the, uh, the picture related to ING rules. Were you able to take notes? In the meantime, your answer, I'm going to read this lesson. It says, by the, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with WH words. Okay. I sent you a list of questions, guys, that, I mean, there are around 40 questions using do and using does. In the meantime, uh, let's watch another video and then we're going to practice a little bit.
Okay, if you can listen to the conversation or the information, just let me know, please. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask yes. questions in simple present okay. using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice? Okay, guys. Uh, I want you to pay attention to something here really important. Here, you have this one. You have, let's see. Well, actually, actually I becomes me. You becomes you. He becomes him. She becomes her, it becomes it, uh, we becomes us, and they becomes them. Is it clear? Remember that we have ob uh, subject pronouns and we also have object pronouns. So I said that I becomes me. me. You becomes you. He becomes him. Him. She becomes her. It becomes it. Uh, we becomes us. 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 And they becomes them. Them. Okay. Question so far. Or is that clear? Uh, I have a question. Yes. And when when I can use the object pronoun? Mm. Okay, that's a really good no question. Me... Mm -hmm. It's okay. Don't worry. Let me go ahead and give you some examples. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to give you some examples on the chat. Both auxiliaries, do and does, do. Okay, sorry, the video is still playing. Let me stop it first. You're Can you see the chat? Teacher. Oh. Can you see the chat? Hello. What chat? In this the, Zoom? The, uh -huh, the Zoom chat. Yes. So I'm going to ask you some questions. For example, if I if I ask you, um, do you like soccer? Do you like soccer? If I ask you that question, your answer can be, yes, I do. I like it very much. Very much. We use the object pronouns to refer 
uh, to the object or to the person that we're talking about. For example, do I like soccer? Yes, I do. I like it very much. So what does it refers to on the chat? If you go to the chat, what does it refers to? Guys? ¿A qué se refiere it en esa oración o en ese ejemplo? The soccer. Exactly. We're talking about soccer. Yes. Exactly. So it refers to soccer. Thank you. For example, if I ask you, if I ask you, um, does your teacher um, explain correctly? What will be your answer? Does your teacher explain correctly? What will be your answer? Yes, him do. Mm -mm. Yes, he does. He does. Uh, yes, yes, he does. And then you can say, and then you can say, yes, he does. Sir. Yes, he does. That's going to be your answer. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. So you can also say, I like him explaining, explaining grammar. I like him explaining grammar. What does him refers to? A que se refiere el him? Teacher. To the teacher. Uh, that... Exactly. Yes. And what subject pronoun can substitute the teacher? Him. No. Ese es object pronoun. En una oración, ¿qué ustedes pueden sustituir? Por ejemplo, eh, mi nombre, Douglas, explains correctly. If I give you that answer, what subject pronoun substitutes Douglas? Her. Sorry? Her. Her. One more time, Luis. We can change uh, Douglas for her. For her? Are you sure? Or him. 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 Sorry. No. Let me let me type the let me type the example on the chat. Douglas explains. Grammar correctly. Grammar correctly. Ahora, cambien esa oración con subject pronoun. Escríbanme esa misma oración usando un subject pronoun. No object pronoun. Subject pronoun. Please, can you uh, give me example? Okay. Uh, what are the, the, the subject pronouns that you have in English? Subject pronouns. What are the subject pronouns, guys? You. Sorry? You. Uh huh. Us. No, eh, mm -mm. se están no. confundiendo. Eh, ya no están en básico uno. ¿Cuáles son los subject pronouns que nosotros tenemos en inglés? Me, you, no. him. No, mm -mm. se están confundiendo con algo tan básico que es de básico uno. ¿Cuáles son los subject pronouns que nosotros tenemos? I. I, thank you. You. 
You, thank you. He, 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 since you already gave me the subject pronouns, what, what can substitute Douglas? ¿Qué subject pronoun pueden usar? Es la misma oración que van a decir, lo único que van a sustituir Douglas por un subject pronoun. He explained grammar correctly. Exactly. Entonces van a decir, he explains grammar correctly. Ahora, si el subject pronoun es he, ¿Cuál sería el object pronoun de he? Him. Him. Exactly. Yes. That's it. Okay. okay. So you can say, I like him explaining the grammar. I talk to him. I talk to him in English. Yes. Object pronoun, thank you. Object pronouns, thank you, Hector. Thank you for the picture. There you have other examples. There you have other examples. So, object pronouns are always in the middle or at the end of the sentence. Are always in the middle or at the end of the sentence. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Let me ask you this question. Do you like, or let me ask you, let me ask you something. What kinds of music do you like, Alejandro? Alejandro? Alejandro, hello. Okay, uh, Luis, what kinds of music do you like? I like uh, rock music, music rock. Okay, and who is your favorite singer? Is candy shop. Uh, my favorite singer, uh, oh, singer is my favorite singer is 50 Cent. Okay, how often do you listen to him? Uh, I, him, in, no, I, I listen him. to I listen him. I listen, I listen to, to him. him uh, one hour, one hours, two hours of week. Okay, one or twice a week or every day. Do you listen to him every day? Maybe every day. Okay, excellent. If you see, you didn't say I listen to he. You said, I listen to him. Object pronouns, one more time, are always in the middle of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Pero un object pronoun eh, nunca va a ser usado al inicio de la oración. Al inicio de la oración, usted va a usar subject pronouns. ¿Cuáles son los subject pronouns? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Object pronouns. What is the object pronoun for I? Me. What is the object pronoun for you? You. What is the object pronoun for we? We. Us. 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 Thank you. Us. What is the object pronoun for he? Him. 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 What is the object pronoun for they? Her. Them. 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 Okay, is it clear or not clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Yes, Thank it's you. clear. Thank you. Now, um, let's move. I'm going to also send you 
some other examples to the WhatsApp group later on. In the meantime, what I want you to do is to ask and answer questions using do or does. Using do or does. So let's see, Luis, select one of your classmates. Ask a question because you already answered the question related to uh, music. And I said, what kinds of music do you like? And you uh, mentioned the name or uh, kinds of music. And now is your turn. You need to ask a question to one of your classmates. Okay. Uh, Eugene Martinez. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what kind do you like to music? I like pop music. And you? I like, uh, I like to rap music. Okay. Only, only, uh -huh. Thank you. Eugene, select one of your classmates, ask a question using do or does. WH word, WH word plus do or does. Okay. Um, Sylvia Esther. Yes. Uh, do you like do you like um pop music? Yes, I do. Thank you. What? Um guys, let me let me share with you something real quick. Let me share with you something. Once you can see it, let me know, please. Okay, can you see my computer's screen? Yes, Okay, when I say that you need to use WH words, what are the WH words that we have in English? We have when, why, which, whom, what, where, whose, who, and how. Uh, Luis, when do we use when? Uh, ask about time. By example, when do you go to work? Thank you. Silvia, when do we use why? Ask about reason. Sandra. More explain. Thank you. When do we use wish? Sandra, Elizabeth. Okay, Alejandro, when do we use wish? Uh, as about choice. Choices. Choices. Okay, Brenda, when do we use whom? When uh, as about people. Thank you. Eugenio, when do we use what? Eugene, when do we use what? Ask for information. Ana Flores, when do we use where? Where? Ask about places. Uh, Leila, when do we use whose? Uh, ask about possession. Lydia, when do we use who? Ask about people. Maria Santos, when do we use how? Okay, Luis, when do we use how? How as about in possession. How ask about process and manner. Okay, Edwin, Maria Santos, Kevin, Alexander, Francisco, Valdovar, normally Seth, turn your cameras on, please. Okay, cuando preguntamos, 
hace unos minutos le mandé eh, un mensaje de que no podía encender la cámara porque todavía estoy trabajando. Ah, oh, perdón. Ok, Entonces, gracias. Entonces, por eso no le entiendo, solamente estoy oyente, se lo mandé a su privado. Ah, ok, gracias, gracias. Ay, disculpe. Ay, disculpe. Bueno. Pero si hay problema, me salgo, no hay problema. No, no hay inconveniente, solo que no. eh, siempre es recomendable mantener la cámara encendida. Sí, yo lo entiendo, sí, es verdad. Pero okay. lamentablemente no me pudieron cambiar el horario, por eso no la puedo encender ahorita. Ah, ok, perfecto. Bien. Thank you for letting me know. Um, when I ask you to write WH words, plus do and does, is for us extra information. Eh, aparte de Valdomar, Kevin, Edwin, en María Santos, ¿ustedes tienen inconveniente con la cámara? Eh, yes, my camera doesn't work. Ah, ok. Gracias, Edwin. Kevin. María Santos dice que sí. Kevin. En Jenny Elizabeth. Yo temprano le avisé que no la iba a poder encender porque me surgió un inconveniente. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ay, disculpen que no había leído el, el mensaje. Thank you. Gracias. Um, when I ask you about WH words and do and does is to ask extra information. Okay? Because if you say, do you like soccer? The answer is going to, is going to be, yes, I do. No, I don't. But if you ask, eh, what kinds of sports do you like? The other person is going to say, oh, I like tennis. I like soccer. I like playing basketball. That person is going to give you extra information. Is it clear? Yes? yes. Vaya, le yes. mandé una yes. lista, les mandé una lista con 40 preguntas. Y las 40 preguntas tienen Where, when, why, who, whose, what. Entonces, quiero que hagan esas mismas preguntas. Ese tipo de preguntas utilizando WH words, do and does. ¿Es it clear? Clear. Sí. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Now, let's see. Alejandro, ask one question to one of your classmates. Alejandro? Um, Luis? Ok. Ok. Uh, what do you want to be? Sorry. Who do you want to be? Uh, I want to be. I want to be play video games. Okay. All right. A video games or a video games gamer. You can say that. Okay. Okay. Uh, select another. Select another classmate. Uh, Brenda. Brenda Clarivel. Thank you. Hello. Uh, what language do you speak? I speak um, three idioms. And the first is Spanish. The second is English. Spanish. Um, third, sorry, Spanish. And um, third is Korean. Wow. Korean, okay, thank you. Now, Brenda, select one of your classmates, ask a question using WH words, do and does. Okay. I think the Silvia is there. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Where do you st study? I study at in at it. C E C University Protect. Okay. Sylvia, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Mm, 
Eugenio. Eugene. Yes. Clear. Why, why do you study English? Mm, I why? study English. I study English in the English Corporativo. Yes. Mm, no. Why? Why do you study ah, English? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, um, I want to, I want to travel at the future. For that. Okay, one more time. Can you please repeat that question? Again. Yes. Okay. Why do you study English? Mm -hmm. So you okay. want to travel in the future. Thank you. Eugene, select another classmate. Eh, antes de continuar, por favor, este, los mensajes, estoy leyendo el mensaje que me, están, que me han mandado en WhatsApp eh, y se lo voy a leer literalmente como dice. Dice, buenas tardes, licenciado. Comunicarle que el día de hoy me conectaré a la clase, pero estaré como oyente cuando pueda encender a la cámara al inicio de la clase. Eh, se me hará difícil encender la cámara. Feliz tarde. Quiero informarles que yo tengo eh, bastantes alumnos de diferentes grupos, de diferentes instituciones. Acá no me, no me ponen buenas tardes, eh, soy fulano de tal. Entonces, quiero que cuando me manden un mensaje, por favor, me agreguen su nombre para yo saber y estar seguro que si están teniendo algún inconveniente y que es eh, ag agregarme también que son de inglés corporativo para yo entender que si han tenido algún inconveniente o tienen algún inconveniente y es la razón por la cual no pueden encender su cámara. Ok, solamente especifíquenme su nombre y de qué eh, o de qué curso pertenece. Ok, por favor. Um, let's see. I have a uh, Brenda, select one of your classmates and ask a question. Okay, teacher. Um, Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How often do you do the household chores? How often do you do How often do you do the household chores? Thanks, teacher. Chores. Uh -huh. um, three times a week. Okay, I do the household chores three times a week. Okay, thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen one more time. <laughs> there you have picture saying uh, likes and dislike. So let's do something. We're going to talk about likes and dislike. For example, uh, if I ask you, Luis, what do you like? Or what kinds of food do you like? What will be your answer? Uh, I like pupusas. Okay, thank you. And what kinds of food don't you like? I, I don't like pacaya. Okay, all right. If you see, you told me about the food that you like, and you also told me the food that you don't like. So that's the meaning of likes and dislikes. For example, eh, let's see. Leyland, do you like Coke? There are some people that don't like water, but let me ask you that question. Leyland, do you like Coke? Coke. 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 Coca-Cola, Coke. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't like this, sir. Okay, and what kinds of drinks do you like? 
I like uh, use natural. Natural use. Ah, uh, natural use. Okay, excellent. Uh, Kevin, tell me the things that you like and the things that you don't like. Okay, uh, I like to practice some sport mm -hmm. and I don't like listen to the radio. Listen to the radio, okay. Thank you, Geraldine. Tell me about the uh, what you like and what you, what you don't like. I like do exercise. Do I don't uh -huh. like watch TV. I like to do exercises. I don't like yeah. to watch, watch TV. TV. Okay, there is something. There is something I want to show you guys. So if I ask you, uh, what do you like? And what don't you like? Okay, that's going to be my question. However, the answer can be, I like, sorry, I like to watch TV, or you can also say, I like, watching TV and both answers are correct. One is using the infinitive and the second option is using the ING. I like to watch TV and I like watching TV. Is it clear? In a sentence, you cannot type the verbs on the same form two verbs on the same form. For example, if you say, I like watch TV, it is incorrect. But if you say, I like to watch TV or I like watching TV, that's perfect. Is it clear or not clear? It's not clear, uh, teacher, because I like, watch tv mm -hmm. for me is correct okay i i like watching tv mm -hmm. is incorrect because it's necessary add to i i like be watching tv mm, okay um what you are talking about Ahí lo que estás hablando son dos cosas totalmente diferentes. Una porque eh, estás eh, usando el verbo to be con ing para eh, progresivo o continuous. Y tiene sentido lo que tú decís. Tiene sentido. Sin embargo, para cuando usted en una oración tiene dos verbos, for example, if I ask you, do you like, um, or let's see, if I ask you, what do you like and what don't you like? And your answer is, I like watch TV, grammatically speaking, is incorrect. Porque estás, uh, look, look at the answer. I like, I like, watch TV. Esa respuesta está incorrecta porque el verbo like y el verbo watch no pueden ir en la misma forma. Uno tiene que ser con infinitivo que es I like to watch TV or I like watching TV. Does it make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Pero si vos decís, I am watching TV, que es la respuesta que tú me diste, ahí sí, sí tiene sentido, porque es una oración que tú la estás realizando en este momento. Estoy viendo televisión. 
pero ese es un, un contexto totalmente diferente. Porque la pregunta no dice qué es lo que estás haciendo, sino que qué es lo que te gusta y qué es lo que no te gusta. What do you like and what don't you like? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Excellent. <laughs> okay, perfect, guys. Now, let's share. May I say I like listening to music? Correcto. Perfecto. Así es la cosa. Gramaticalmente, hablando, esa sería la respuesta correcta. I like listening to music. Or I like listen to music. I'm sorry. I like to listen to music. Tiene que poner el, el, el infinitivo. Is it clear or not clear? Clear. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen one more time. Sorry about the advertisement. Okay. I'm going to share my computer screen. And there you have some rules for the ING form. There you have some rule for the ING form. So the first rule, if the verb ends in letter E, you are going to eliminate it. And you are going to add ING. Example, believe becomes, Living. How becomes? Having. Having. Live Having. becomes? Living. Take becomes? Taking. Taking. Move becomes? Moving. Moving. Thank you. The second, the second rule. You have consonant, vowel consonant. You are going to duplicate the last consonant. And you are going to add ing. Example, sit becomes. Si se fijan, lleva doble t. Entonces, cuando el verbo termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, ustedes lo van a multiplicar la última consonante y van a agregar ing. Get becomes. But, how is... Plan becomes. What do you mean? Uh -huh. Which one? It's sitting Sit or sitting? Sitting. Or sitting, uh -huh. getting. sitting, getting, and plan, planning, planning, run, running, stop, stopping, stopping. stopping. Okay. And this one says two or more syllable verbs, consonant, vowel, consonant. If the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, you are going to multiply the last consonant and you are going to add ing. Begin becomes? Beginning. Beginning. Forget. Forgetting. Forgetting. Regret. Regretting. Regretting. Admit. Admitting. Accept. Accepting. Okay, and you also had the last rule. Verbs ending in IE. Die becomes die. dying. So no, what you do is to delete IE to um, letter in Y ING. and ING. Wow. Die, dying. Lie, lying. Die, dying. Dying. Questions or no questions? It's a clear. So it's, is it clear? When yes. we use. Sorry? When we use uh, this. When do we use it? When you have two verbs in a sentence, you can say, I like listening to music. I'm sorry, I like, I like to listen to music 
Or you can also say, I like uh, to sleep or I like sleeping. Those options you have. I like sleeping or I like to sleep. I like eating or I like to eat. Is it clear? Okay. I like I like talking or I like to talk in English. I like talking in English. I like to talk in English. Yes. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen and let's complete some exercises. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Let me go to the website. Okay, I'm going to move it here. And there you go. Okay, so let's double check this information. Once you can see it, let me know. Okay, and there you have, read the following, it says instructions. Read the following sentence complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. For example, the first one, Sylvia, complete it, please. First is do you like science fiction movies do you like science fiction movies thank you next number two uh, lydia yes mm -hmm. no i i don't like no i don't no i don't no i don't okay thank you continue miguel I don't like it very much. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Thank you. Davy, are you here? Davy? Okay, Alejandro, number four. Does Jake Lisa like sub operas? Are you sure? Does. ¿Estás seguro? ¿Cuántas personas tenés en la oración? Dos. No. ¿Cuántas personas tenés Ajá. en la oración? Dos. Dos. Ajá. Ok. Sí. Entonces, ¿cuándo, cuando, cuando tenés dos personas, usas das o, o usas do? Das. ¿Quién tiene una respuesta diferente a la de él? I think do. ¿Por qué? Because I am Lisa. Ajá. Because you have Jake and Lisa. Yes. Do, le, do Jake and Lisa like, like soap opera? Or you can also say, do they, do they like soap operas? Is it clear? Please do. Okay. Thank you. Now, Eugene, number five, please. Uh, Jake, mm -hmm. but I don't about Lisa. Mm -mm. Uh, Kevin, no. com complete the number five, please. Okay. Jake doesn't. Jake Sorry. Doesn't have a number five. Yes. Okay. Jake doesn't, mm -mm. but I don't. Jake don't. Okay, Jake is he. 
yeah. when you when you have he do you say don't or do you say does, does. or doesn't, doesn't. okay does. so number five is does or doesn't doesn't i will say does geraldine number six this is does not in the number five contraction yes okay contraction doesn't uh, okay let's leave it as it is doesn't then so number five number six please ya son las nueve let's do it quickly number six for me is her okay why don't you ask her thank you anna Complete the number seven. No, I try so. Okay. Is... Do, do. What kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? Thank you. Why? Because it's, it's, it's una forma de, de acción. Eh, no. ¿Qué tipo de música? La respuesta es porque tenemos dos personas. Oh, ok. Si solo tuviéramos Noriko, dijera, What kinds of music does Noriko like? Pero como uh -huh. acá tenemos dos Noriko en Ethan, decimos, okay. What kinds of music do Noriko en Ethan like? Ok, teacher. All right. Eh, Luis, continue. Number eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What do no? What does does he play? What does he play? Thank you, Sylvia. Continue. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. And Thank you, Norma. Number nine. Da Silo. I have his new CD. Let's listen to. Sorry, teacher. It's it. Ajá, el object pronoun, les dije que siempre va a ir en medio o al final, pero nunca al principio de la oración. Chela. Let's listen to it. Es nuevo, no sé bien. Ok, Alejandro, number 10. Antes escuchamos. I love. I love. Ok, yeah. si, si tienen el them. micrófono encendido, apáguenlo. Oh, ok, sorry. Alejandro, number 10. Ok, after this, let's listen to... Andrea Bocelli. I love him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The best. Excellent. Bye. Let's see the answers. Y veamos a dónde fallamos. I don't like it. Let's see. No sé por qué salió eh, mal esta, porque estamos hablando de, de science fiction movies. Ah. Movies is plural. Oh, object okay. pronouns. Yeah, movies are plural. Ahí estamos. Porque estamos hablando de movies. Entonces, movies refers to them. Is it clear? Yes. Bye. Okay. Eh, Le puedo dar un minutos. Un minuto. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan o alguna duda? Una pregunta. Sí. Con respecto, tenemos que llenar otro formulario porque me volvieron a mandar que tenía que llenarlo. Mm, vaya, sería recomendable que consulten en el, en el grupo para cosas administrativas. Porque eso sí, ahí les quedó mal porque no, no manejo esos datos. Vaya, ¿otra pregunta? 
eh, Lidia. Sí, de, con respecto a lo de, que dice la compañera del, form, del formulario, eh, ¿usted si sí sí maneja de cuántos módulos son? De la, porque ahí decía de que para el segundo módulo, módulo 2, de, de llenar el formulario. Mm, sí, ahí sí les quedo, les quedo mal porque no manejo ese dato. Entonces, uh -huh. esas preguntas, escríbanla en el grupo y les van a contestar. Vaya, ya son las 9 y 5, no les quito más de su tiempo. Les voy a mandar otras eh, imágenes como refuerzo en See Tomorrow. Good night. See you, Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.